no, this is not piano. This is dreaming, 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 dreaming. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Candace. if you are new here and if you are a returning loyal subscriber. Thank you so much for tuning in again. You are a real one. In today's video, I'm really excited because I've kind of been telling you guys that I was going to do this video for a while. But I'm going to get into some body care. And I've like recently kind of tried to up my body care a little bit because I'm super simple. And the main reason for that is because my skin is hella sensitive. Like when people say that their skin is sensitive, my like... My skin is sensitive, sensitive, and it's not just my skin, it's my lady parts. Everything is very, 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 like, iffy. Very iffy, so I have to be careful of the products that I use on it. So I wanted to share with you guys some tried and true products for my sensitive skin if you are also out here struggling to see what products work for your skin. Or even if your skin isn't sensitive and you just wanted to tune in to what I use, I am glad that you guys are here to tune into this video. So yeah, without further ado, let's get into it. So the first thing that I'm going to do is cleanse my skin. And I use products that are fragrance-free always. And I most recently got into um, this brand called Sweet Spot Lab. And they're all about creating products that are for people with labias and people with vulvas. So all of their products are pH balanced. Very, very, very gentle. They're not made with any glycerin. They're also not made with any sulfates, parabens, gluten, soy, dairy. Because all of those things can kind of like feed any like, you know, things we don't want there. Whether it be yeast or or bacteria so this is something that I recently come across but prior to this I was using some Dove unscented soap or the Target brand up and up they also have an unscented soap and the bar kind because the liquid kind is not fragrance free so if you get the pump of the Dove that says for sensitive skin it's not gonna be the fragrance free one so I just lather up with this Even though it doesn't have a scent, I really enjoy it because it's very moisturizing on my skin. And if I wanted to go in after this and add some nice smelling, you know, like something, something, then I'll go ahead and do that. And there's plenty of smell good stuff out there. One of my favorites is the Olay with the body ribbons. I love the Shea and Lavender one. But I will go in with that after just on the areas that aren't as sensitive like my lady parts. Next, I exfoliate using the First Aid Beauty KP Bump Eraser Body Scrub. This has 10% AHAs and it also has a grainy, grainy texture. Texture, so it exfoliates physically and also it exfoliates chemically with the AHAs that are in here and I really really love this I try and use it like I try and like dab my skin off so it's a bit dry and not soaking wet and then go in with it just on my fingertips because that helps it to really really exfoliate I do it on my bikini area and I also do it on my underarms before I go in and shave and I also have this exfoliating glove that I use that um, I can use with any body wash or anything like that and it really just adds a layer of exfoliation just if you want to use something regular or if you want to pair them together but this one is kind of it already you know it already does its job you don't want to kind of overdo it and kind of like you know roughen up your skin too much so I recommend using the exfoliating glove just using a regular body wash or something that isn't as like physically exfoliating as this one is. Next it's time to shave. I use the Evolution of Smooth EOS. They're most known for like their lip products but I use their Shea Butter Shave Cream. It's for sensitive thin skin and it has oatmeal in it and it has like a lavender kind of fragrance I think. So I use this on my underarms. I do not shave my bikini area. I get waxes. Currently I'm gonna switch to lasering soon but I use the Big Soleil Sensitive Skin Razors and this is my favorite razor I've used more expensive razors kind of like one-time use razors I've used a bunch of razors and this is my favorite for my sensitive skin because it doesn't hurt I think sometimes when I shave like it physically hurts and this one is really smooth it has three blades and they last really really long I find that the other ones that I've tried they don't necessarily last as long and kind of like work good as long they'll start to get rough after the first use so this one is my favorite and I use the up and down motion when I shave because it helps 
kind of get the hair out a little bit of the razor and you'll see a little bit more of that when I go in and shave my legs and for my legs I also use the EOS shea butter shave cream it works really good it's really moisturizing um, and you don't need a lot of it in order to get a nice smooth shave and yes same motion I just go up and down on my leg and as you can see the hair is kind of gathering up at the top of my leg because I'm using that motion and I don't have to like rinse it out every five seconds it makes the process so much quicker now first thing out of the shower my skin is still nice and wet I go in with my body butter and I use the Fenty Beauty butter drop butter <laughs> butter is butter drop I use the Fenty Beauty butter drop body cream when I tell you this is a banger. This is such a banger. And I'm not just somebody that is going to say that it's great because it's Rihanna, even though I love Rihanna. Um, I feel like some of her products was a miss. That's just me. But this one is a freaking hit. Like, it's so good. It leaves my body feeling really, really soft. I have some eczema, a little bit of eczema on my shoulders. And this has really, really helped kind of smooth it out and kind of like make it less itchy. Sometimes my shoulders around here get itchy. They get bumpy and dry. And it's really, really helped me with that so far. So I'll just put that on my body while my skin is still wet and then hop into my bikini care. So I'm not one of guys' favorites. I have razor bumps and I have ingrown hairs and I have scarring and it is just not the prettiest sight. But I've really learned to try and take care of that area and not leave it out. I feel like for years it wasn't really a part of my body care. And then I'll be wondering why like, dang, why do I have scarring? Or dang, why do I have razor bumps? And it's because I wasn't paying as much attention as I should have been. So now I give it all the TLC that it needs. And I started with the exfoliation in the shower. And once I hop out, I'm going to go in with some exfoliating pads. These are also from Sweet Spot Labs. It's the Buff and Brighten Body Exfoliating Pads. It says it banishes bumps, brightens skin, is perfect for bikini, legs, and underarms. So you could also go in with it on your underarms or any area that you feel like you need some additional exfoliation. It says that it's dermatologist and spa tested. This product also has AHAs and it has some natural ingredients like aloe vera, pineapple fruit extract, papaya leaf extract, and some really, really good stuff in here. This, however, does have fragrance, so I leave it away from you know the inner bits and kind of just focus it on my bikini line and this has really been helping me kind of fade some of the scarring that I have and preventing razor bumps after my waxes. Now sometimes I use the Vanish PFB with Chroma Bright Serum. Instead of like an exfoliating pad, you just roll it on the affected area and it's supposed to brighten your skin, give you relief from ingrowns and prevent razor bumps. All that kind of stuff is for men and women. I guess men kind of use it on this area or they can also use it in their groin area. But when I use this frequently, it really, really does help. This is one of the things that I've had for years because all of like the old school YouTube gurus used to talk about PFB but when I use it frequently I do see results it does make your skin peel a little bit so I would be careful about being in the Sun when you're using anything that has those chemicals in it you want to make sure that you kind of protect yourself from the Sun but yes this is also a banger if you struggle with any sort of like ingrown hairs or anything like that lastly for my bikini area after I put on the active ingredient whether it be the exfoliating pads a serum I go in with this oil and it's from a brand called Bush Bomb. It's really cute. I love the brand in itself, just the name and their social media presence is also really cute. And this oil has like lemon oil. It has additional things that are going to one, moisturize the area and two, kind of help with the dark marks as well. So lemon extract and lemon oil is really good for kind of naturally fading those things. So I love this. It smells really good. I also use it on my armpits as well because I'm trying to work on the hyperpigmentation over there but yes they also have scrubs they also have other products so make sure you check them out as well as sweet spot labs because I find that these are tailor-made for those issues and it really really helps okay now it's time to get into moisturizing the rest of my body I usually just moisturize my body in my bed I don't know why it just feels like an extra pampering step instead of rushing through I kind of just lay down play my music and just get into it so I'm also going to be using the Fenty Butter Drop. I keep saying Butter Drop. That's not what she, that's not how she spelled it. So Butter Drop, I use the body cream as well as the Osea. 
algae body oil and this is so good I find that when you mix any oil I don't want to make it seem like you have to use these products in order to have a bomb body care routine but when you mix a body cream with an oil it just gives and especially before nighttime because you go to sleep and your skin is soaking up all of the goodness and you wake up and you feel great so I love this mix together and if you don't really like um, having your skin no cuz it soaks in cuz I feel good right now I was about to say if you don't like it to be tacky but this isn't even tacky it feels like it it already absorbed all of the products and it's only been 15 minutes since I did my routine so I love that for me but yes this product is infused with seaweed and it has a lot of natural things that kind of enhance and like just add that extra little oomph to it so when I mix those two together I really really love the results and last but not least for my feet I go in with the CeraVe healing ointment and that really helps get into the cracks like the heel that you know sometimes gets left out and be looking crazy in your sandals and in your slides and in your heels so you want to make sure that that heel is nice intended to and it's nice and supple and soft so I do this little trick it used to be Vaseline I used to put Vaseline on my feet and put socks on overnight but now since we've elevated a little bit I'm using the CeraVe healing ointment you can use whatever you want whether it be coconut oil Vaseline whatever product that you have but just kind of locking it in with the socks and going to sleep your heels and your feet would just feel really really soft in the morning but all right guys that is the end of this video i really hope you enjoyed it if you guys have any questions or any comments concerns whatever it is then make sure you guys leave it down in the comment box below if you have any suggestions for any new videos then make sure you let me know that as well and i will see you guys in the next one all products will be linked down below too bye mm -hmm.